Hey guys, Ivan here, and you're watching 2019 Mr. Olympia Finals. So this right here is Finals, and as you can see there is Harry Chopin, Rolly Winkler, Brandon Curry over there, Dexter Jackson as well. Dexter Jackson is really a pleasant surprise. Some people even had him winning the Mr. Olympia, but no, he took 4th place. I thought he may crack the top 5 or top 6, but Rolly was definitely off. Definitely off. As I told you guys in that video before, it was pretty obvious. And as far as Brandon Curry, he also was pretty much on. Very, very good Brandon Curry. I think he was the way he planned to be. Would it be better if Brandon was a little bit sharper? Sure, sure. Sean Rodden was much sharper last year and Phil Heath as well. So it's not that kind of conditioning. But for his body, for his body, if he was a little bit sharper, he would lose the fullness and that would be very visible in his legs. Like this, he was spot on and obviously it was a winning combination. He won the Mr. Olympia. It was history in the making tonight and he won it. As far as William Bonek, he was also very, very good and he won second place. He beat Hadi Chopin. Many people will disagree with this decision. Many, many people liked Hadi more. He won the People's Champion Award, actually. But physique-wise, I still think Bonek was better. Dexter really, really surprised once again. He was better at finals than he was at the pre-judging. However, Rolly Winkler was also a little bit better than he was at the pre-judging, but still not good enough. Good enough to be fifth place at the Mr. Olympia. But this was his chance this year. If he came like he was in 2018, it would be really a tough battle for, um, for Brandon. But apparently he didn't, he came a little bit off, and it sucks, but it is what it is. We have a new champion, Brandon Curry right here. Bonek once again looked phenomenal, but still not good enough to beat Brandon, because he doesn't have the structure. Steve Kuklo, very very good Steve Kuklo, um, probably his best ever and his best placement ever. Hadi Chopin once again, very good physique overall, uh, very dominant quads, I must say. Those quads were dry and shredded, there were feathers. Uh, pretty much the entire physique was very, very conditioned, the most conditioned guy up there, but William Bonac was just a little bit more complete and uh, because of the back, I think it's because of the back, but you will see that later. From the sides, Brandon was absolutely dominating this stage, he looks much bigger than everybody else and also much more detailed than everything. His quads, his legs look very, very good from the sides, the skin looks super thin. From the back though, his legs were obviously weaker than pretty much everybody's in this lineup, but his back itself was much wider than anybody's, so he was pretty much dwarfing the entire lineup with his back. Now, the smaller legs and the smaller waist made his back seem even bigger than it is. So, I think from the back, Brandon was the best, yeah. Bonek was second best, but Bonek's, you know, upper body proportions and structure really didn't allow him to be better than, uh, than Brandon. He just is a little bit too narrow. He's not wide as, as, as Brandon, here you can see it. If this cameraman was giving us a little bit better angles, I must say that the stream was very good. By the way, here you can see Dexter destroying Rolly in back department, in glutes and hamstrings and everything. As I said, stream was really good. There was no lags. I really enjoyed this Mr. Olympia. It seemed like the cameraman had no idea what he was doing. He was catching some horrible angles and that was the bad part of it, but uh, overall, very good stream. Uh, the high quality of, of video and everything, spot on, spot on. This was probably the best stream that we had ever. Side tricep. Now you can see what I'm talking about, why a brand dominated this stage. But if you would see it a little bit better if this cameraman was uh, knowing what he was doing. I mean, the whole production. Anyways, now they're shifting them, they're putting Dexter on the side. Uh, they're switching places of William Bonek and Dexter. Now, somebody was thinking, probably, I mean, most of us, that Dexter can crack the top two or top three, which would be really amazing, but it didn't happen. He took fourth place, very close fourth place. I mean, in the finals, he was really close to these guys, but I think midsection was the biggest problem for him. That's why he didn't take third or, or second. But uh, Harry Chopin, look at this, vacuum, vacuum. Um, William Bonek also not very good midsection, and that was one of his problems, aside from a horrible structure. Not really horrible structure, but uh, not as good as these other guys. Um, Rolly Winkler, you know, all the potential in the world. If he just came completely peeled, like he was last year, and a little bit better, he would have maybe even won it, but it didn't happen, unfortunately. Anyways, guys, this is it for this video. This is it about the Mr. Olympia 2019 finals. If you like this video, please like it and comment down below. Tell me what you think. 
Also, subscribe to my channel for more Mr. Olympia and all kinds of bodybuilding content. Thank you very much, guys. All the best. Bye-bye.